अपने मॉडिफिकेशन एडजस्टमेंट वी हैव टू फिनिश दिस वन वी हैव एंड फिनिश दिस वन एसपीडीडी एंड एसपीआई व्हाट इज दिस एसपीडीडी एंड एसपीआई एसपीडीडी मींस डेटा डिक्शनरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स एसपीआई मींस रिपोजिटरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स डेटा डिक्शनरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड रिपोजिटरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके व्हाट वी हैव इन द डेटाबेस सो वी हैव SAP repository and a data dictionary here and business data and a database repository database repository means database software SAP software business data database software in this SAP software we are having two things one is data dictionary second one is repository things what is data dictionary and what is repository for example your system is netweaver 7.4 you are upgrading this system to netweaver 7.5 Okay, we'll discuss that later. First, come to your database. In your NetViewer 7.4 database, what are the things you are having? You are having SAP software, business data, and a database software. In database, where your data is storing? Anyone? In tables, right? So, software tables will be there, business tables will be there, and the database software tables will be there. Okay, I'm drawing few tables here. Okay, I'm having. few tables fine this table is having some two rows and three columns this table is having two rows some two columns this this is having two rows and some four columns first this is table structure this is called as data dictionary we used to call it as ddic means data dictionary data dictionary means table structures and their interrelationships are called as data dictionary so that table structure means how many rows how many columns and it is a relational database management right so each and every table will have some relationship similar type of tables will be somewhere that is what called as a data dictionary in short we used to call it as ddic data elements data dictionary object everything and in sap software these tables contains what these tables contains programs okay reports messages okay screens all these standard sap delivered software na that we used to call it as repository that we used to call it as repository St the table structures and their, their interrelationships are called as data dictionary data dictionary dictionary mean what is the meaning of dictionary it will give you in detail detail data some people will call it as data about data but it is a wrong uh, statement you can say attributes of the data properties of the data means the table structures and their interrelationships are called as data dictionary and the standard programs reports screens menu options which are delivered from sap those are called as repository objects so in sap software in this area we will be having data dictionary objects and repository objects so the t code related to data dictionary is spdd the t code related to repository is spaa now fine now uh, this table for example this table is having two rows three columns when i install my sap system so what i have done for my business requirement for my business need i have customized i have modified this standard data dictionary object standard data dictionary object to like this what happens now how many rows three rows three columns i have done this okay i am doing business for my requirement i have changed this two rows three columns to three rows and three columns according to my business requirement when i am moving to netweaver 7.5 it will ask you so this table is having two rows and three columns and you changed it to 
three rows and three columns. Can I do the modification or can I keep your change modifications same? So if Netweaver 7.5 is also having same thing, please quiet. Please mute. Sorry, your voice is breaking. If okay, if this Netweaver 7.5 is also having same two rows and three columns. At the updating of the, it will check. Now it is changed. Now it will ask you here in updation of this. What I am updating? Data dictionary object or repository? Table structure. It is changing. So data dictionary. It will ask you to run SPDD and select this table and say keep modification. Then it will update that. Adjust modification means it won't update. that is what your spdd when you are updating that some data dictionary objects will change maybe sap is in netweaver 7.5 same table sap is uh, giving four rows and four columns then also it will ask you so if you want to keep your modifications alive or you want to go with the new update it will ask you that is what spdd and the same with sp if you are changing the standard program reports messages screens now in new version this program now you have changed this program for example this program is having some 11 lines by default 11 lines code is there you modified that to 15 lines code now when comes to netweaver 7.5 it will work on 11 lines only now here i am having some 16 lines for that same program so will it ask it will definitely ask you can i change that program or keep your modifications alive then you have to run spau this is spdd is a data dictionary object spau is repository object is it clear yes sir okay yes sir see how we do i'll, I'll tell you so in which phases it will ask you see uh, stack level everything the basis team will do this spdd phase and spau phase who is doing your abapers and functional people as a basis consultant you don't have any knowledge on that functional tables and uh, the standard repository objects which they are changed in the older version we don't know we only know how to install how to create users giving the security and uh, maintaining the software that's it but internally what they have done to their code we don't know as a basis consultant so whenever this spdd phase and spau phase comes we hand over the system to abap percent functional team at the time of support package also what support package is doing in support package also you are having run spdd run spau phases means if this new support package is changing something old thing you already modified that then also it will ask you for spdd and spau in support package also we hand over the system to abap and functional people here also and in ehp upgradation the new functionalities are adding and in new data dictionaries are adding that is the reason it is asking for spdd and spau requests how objects classified under spdd are data dictionary objects what are they tables and their structures views objects classified into spau repository objects are screens reports programs these are all called as repository objects these are called as data dictionary objects so what happens in spdd phase what happened for example you are doing some upgrade from crm 4.0 to crm 7.0 crm system 4.0 and you are doing update to crm 7.0 then it will ask you to run spdd it will ask you to run spdd this is the screen of spdd okay give star and execute then you will get these two options with modification assistant without modification assistant if you further go it will give you these options with modification assistant without modification assistant and a deleter object you will get three things with modification assistant means it is asking you have done some changes can i keep your changes or i can i go to the originals it will ask you here in this option with modification assistant without modification assistant means for example some new table is coming which is not present in your old crm 4.0 new table is coming there i need not to ask your permission 
if that table is already existed i have done some modification on that if i am changing that i am asking you permission if the table is a new table i don't need your permission right you are updating to crm 7.0 the new table without modification assistant also it will convert and deleted objects means in this new release some old tables are deleted that also it won't ask you so we will get three options with modification assistant means it will ask you to will you go with that modifications or keep originals keep originals means you go with the new update modifications means you stand with your changes is it clear guys so what all the objects it is modifying if you open this plus button it will show you all the data dictionary objects what all ch changing so you have to check that and go to okay otherwise i'll show you directly okay i am running spdd now see what happens when i run spdd spdd okay i'll give star see with modification assistant without modification assistance okay execute so it is giving some objects with modification without modification deleted three options i'll get now what i need to do i need to go to utilities utilities versions modification options sorry delete ah uh, otherwise it will direct if you select that object now it will directly take you to sc11 screen what is for sc11 table if i am changing the table structure what it will do see if t00 table is changing that uh, data elements are changing of the t00 then go to more utilities versions version management select this option here you will get the current version for example now my version is 7.5 and it will show you 7.50 7.4 now running i am updating to 7.5 so it will show you 7.5 and what all the changes from 740 to 750 so if I, there i'll get 5 to 6 version upgrades select to two versions this right now whatever you are having and the new one select that and say versions compare it will show you what you are getting in the old one what you have in the old one what you are having in the new one based on that you need to select if you select this it will keep your changes if you select the new one it will do the modification this is how we need to do spdd changes it will show you an entire list it will show you entire list here if you if you click on this what are, it will give you some list from that list if you select each and every object it will take you to this screen sc11 screen it will open this screen it will open that particular objects screen then go to utilities versions version management there you will be having the old versions and the new version select two things and say compare so check what you want what you are having what you are getting now so whatever you want you keep that is it fine the same with spau also when you go with spau if you are changing any repository objects then it will ask you in spau here also you will get same things but spau is for what programs reports screens menu options right for that it is taking you to sc38 screen there some uh, program is there okay say display it will show you the code now say go to utilities <coughs> versions version management so it will show you the versions all the versions so the right now which is running and the which is coming and if there is any old versions are there so you can check you can select two things and say versions and compare you what you want you select that one and say activate this is how we need to activate spau and spdd is it fine guys any doubts here i'll show you in detail also in this document we have that screens all the screens what happens if you click on this how many objects it is showing if you click this how many objects it is showing so what is happening here 
if you do this so what happens here anyone i am changing standard objects what type of transport request it will create standard objects data dictionary objects are standard and repass to the objects also standard objects only so if i touch spdd or spa what type of transport request it is creating anyone if i do modification to standard objects what type of transport request it will create workbench request okay and spdd changes you do immediately and for spau changes for spau changes you will be having 14 days time important interview question after upgrade also you need not to do a while upgrading ehps you will get 14 days time to do the spau changes but after 14 days what happens after 14 days within 14 days you haven't performed that spau modification adjustments what happens then interview another interview question so for each and every standard object if you want to do modification you need to get access key from service marketplace if you do within 14 days it won't ask you for access key for each and every object if you are changing any standard sap repository object what it will ask you it will ask you for uh, modification key right developer access key as well as modification key so if you do within 14 days it won't ask you if you pass that 14 days then it will ask each and every object for example 100 repository objects are changing for 100 things you need to request for 100 a modification requests keys from service marketplace so it is better to do within 14 days after your ehp upgradation spdd changes we perform in pre processing phase spau changes after post processing we have 14 days left for doing spau adjustments remember these points